I've had enough of this. Toby, are any of these questions going to be not depressing? I mean, normally just the sound of your voice is enough to make me want to end it all. It doesn't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry, Mum. What, you want me to do more stuff on the fun side of our planet dying? You know what? I really tried with this, but I can tell by the answers I'm getting that none of you are taking this seriously. So, you know, someone else can do around that. I don't care anymore. Oh, what a waste of time. Well done, Abigail. The Auntie June, I, I, I need to... Like, something terrible has happened to Uncle Marcus. Oh, what else shit is he coming out with now? Has he got aliens <coughs> coming after him? Is that it? What? The thing you have to understand about your dear Uncle Marcus is that he's a nutter. Complete paranoid fantasist. Do you know, one year, he thought his business partner was trying to kill him. Yes, said he was getting threats. Anonymous emails, anonymous. He's probably sending them to himself. So he got shutters, put on all the windows, surveillance cameras everywhere. Do you know what happened? Nothing. Obviously. Your Uncle Marcus lost his marbles a very long time ago. He's dangerous. Don't trust a word he says. Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please, please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't gonna follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby. It just doesn't make any sense. You you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! <laughs> Look. Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I just don't know what to believe. Believe me, Abby. Please. I can't. Abby, don't do this. I'm sorry. Abby, wait! Oh my God. This is like, so sad. A tragedy. He was so young. I mean, he wasn't that young. Lottie! What, are they not going to show us the body? Well, could be anyone in there. Bradley, that's enough. It's breaking my heart that none of us could be there with him. Yeah. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks it's pretty weird that we've let her come here after everything she said? We've spoken about this. Abby didn't take Marcus's death very well. She's apologised for the accusations she made. Accusations? She went psycho. That's enough, Bradley. Abby's not very well. Part of me wishes I had killed him. Oh, come on. Stop pretending. You all hated him just as much as I did. 
You can't tell me you're not just the tiniest bit relieved to see him in a box. June, that is no way to speak of the dead. We all know that Marcus wasn't the nicest man, but has he not suffered enough? I wouldn't be surprised if all that anger that he had inside is what drove him to an early grave. So sad. I still think it's weird she's here. Well, at least she bothered to turn up, which is more than we can say for your brother. Where is he, anyway? I don't know. I do not care. Sorry for what I said. Uncle Marcus's death has hit me really hard. I know that none of you would try to kill him. Unfortunately for you, Abby, apologies only get you so far. Oh, they won't even show us the coffin going into the fire. <sighs> Shit funeral. Right, I've paid my respects. I'm going. Yeah, I've got to get back to work. <clears throat> Abby, love, I... I'll give you a moment alone. 